came up with the concept for our masked ball by going back to the original version of the opera. And it was set in a Swedish court with the King Gustavus. And I thought to myself, what does the Swedish monarchy mean now? The furniture store that flies the blue and yellow flag. This is my fourth opera up close show. It is, I mean, it's incredibly different. You know, I started with Bohem um, when it was still at the Cop Tavern. The difference between going from there where we just literally had a piano that was falling apart to now working with Luca, who's talking about electric guitars and electric violins and talking about, you know, the, 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 the quite serious use of technology in various aspects of the production. The playing field has changed. There's a lot more expected from opera close nowadays. Why not? Why only classical instrument? Why we can put something that is comes from a different style or different idea? I think that it's going to be surprising. Oscar is usually the trans role, which is a coloratura female playing the part of a boy. But of course, on this occasion, Oscar is Oscar is us. Oscar is actually. Uh, a boy. <laughs> <laughs> old one is about the Swedish king getting killed and now instead we're taking it a bit like to our time and putting it in a Swedish furniture store. Into Ballet. <laughs> I think the audiences will love it. The music will just sweep them away because it is stunning. We're setting, getting ready for an office party, a master ball. It's different, but it's very different. still the same story. If somebody's never been to an opera before, they'll come and have the time of their lives, quite honestly. The opera lover who goes to see Unballo in Mascara in a Covent Garden is going to think, Whoa, gosh, flipping it! <laughs> Why not?